I'm just admiring this new Path Project shirt that I got. You can see that this, the topographical map is reflective. When I look down, I can't see anything, but the light is lighting it up. It looks really good. Anyway, we're not here to talk about new Path Projects t-shirts. We are here to talk about running shoes and specifically how you can extend the life of your running shoes. I'm gonna talk about how to tell if your shoes are worn out. And then I'm gonna tell you reasons why you should have more than one pair of running shoes. My friends, if you're watching this channel, then you probably watch other YouTube channels. And if you watch other YouTube running channels, you obviously like running shoes. It seems that runners just love their running shoes. So stay tuned to this video because I am gonna be giving you a couple excuses why you need to extend your running shoe collection. It's not really a collection, it's a rotation. Running shoes are tools and we need more than one tool in the toolbox. Anyway, let's get stuck in. All right, let's get stuck in with how to extend the life of your running shoes. But first, today's run. Today's run was 11.1 miles or 17.86 kilometers. An average pace of 817 a mile, which is 509 a kilometer. Now I knocked out that run in my Reebok Forever Energy 3s. Float Ride Energy 3s. And it was a steamy one today, as it is in Florida. And in fact, most places in the summertime does get a little steamy. And when I got back from my run, my shoes were soaked with sweat. So the first thing you can do to extend the life of your running shoes is to actually take care of the running shoes that you have. I take care of my shoes by drying them out every day when they need it, which actually is every day for the next couple months for me. And I do that by stuffing them with newspaper. You may have other ways to dry them out. Maybe one of those ski boot dryers that kind of stick in and blows air in, that would be an even better way. Whatever you do, avoid, avoid sticking them next to the radiator or next to a heat source because that can damage the midsole. But you still have to dry them out. What happens if you don't dry them out? Well, you are shortening the life of your shoes mainly because you'll get sick of wearing them because they'll start to stink. You will not want to wear those shoes for too much longer. So please, my friends, take care of your shoes by drying them when you need to dry them. I do realize that a lot of people don't live in places where they soak their shoes with sweat. But anyone watching this that lives in a tropical climate or lives somewhere where it gets just really hot in the summertime, you know what I'm talking about. Dry your shoes. Okay, this is the first time I'm gonna mention this, but we are gonna get a little deeper into it as the video goes on. The next step to extend the life of your running shoes is to rotate them. That's right. You may think that oh, if I only buy one pair of shoes, it'll be cheaper. Not so, it's a false economy, my friends. Your shoes will last longer if you rotate them. If you let that midsole rebound between runs and then you run in another pair of shoes, you will actually make your shoes last longer. I'm quite sure there is an upper limit to what is an appropriate number of shoes to rotate, but I personally haven't found it yet. Oh, now would be a good time to write in the comments how many shoes are in your rotation. The next way to extend the life of your running shoes is to clean them, to clean them up. The dirt can be very abrasive to the upper, but more than that, you're not gonna wanna run in ugly running shoes. There is something to be said for getting a new pair of shoes and them being all crisp and clean and that motivating you to get out the door. When they're dirty, it is the absolute inverse of that. You are not gonna wanna go for a run if your shoes are all dirty and muddy and disgusting and they're smelling because you didn't dry them out. So we've already established you have to dry them out, but also clean them. At least just brush them off when you're done. Don't put them in the washing machine. Running shoes do not belong in the washing machine. The next way to extend the life of your running shoes is to run on the proper surfaces. That is the surface that the shoe was intended for. Road shoes are not gonna stand up to the demands of a trail. They're gonna get torn up. They're just not as resilient. Trail shoes, on the other hand, trail shoes are built to be a little tougher. We can see here, we've got these lugs on the bottom. It's gonna make life good when you're running over over rocks, when you're running over roots, these are gonna hold up beautifully. But if you were to use these on the road, these soft lugs on the bottom, they're gonna get worn down pretty quickly. Road shoes for road running, trail shoes for trail running. Just on the off chance that any of you are zooming in to see what bad shape these are in. These are my Nike Wild Horse. I did not listen to my own advice. These are absolutely covered in dirt. So actually, I guess that's a caveat. The only shoes that actually look good that you still wanna grab when they're dirty, trail shoes. It's a sign of a life well lived. Okay, there are several ways to tell if your shoes are worn out. We're just, we're not gonna go over everything. This isn't gonna be an exhaustive list. I'm just gonna give you a couple of ways, but you will notice that your shoes start to feel flat. Now this, this is easier said than done, as in picking up on the flatness, because if you're running in these shoes every day, or if you're rotating them every other day, every couple days, you may not notice them getting flat because it happens so slowly. It's a general consensus that running shoes last for between three and 500 miles. So if you're wearing a pair of shoes for several months, the rate of decline, the rate 
that the midsole is going to compress is going to be so slowly that you might not notice it. So just stay in tune, kind of compare them to some of your other shoes that you're running in and know what a new shoe with good rebound feels like and you'll know when it's time to replace them. Most of the time it's not until I actually replace my shoes that I notice how bad my old shoes were. There was a time when I ran in Nike Zoom Flies exclusively and I would just get a different colorway each time. And I remember thinking that when I got a new pair, how good they felt compared to the old pair. So it's a good idea to set yourself a mileage goal so you know when it's time to replace your shoes. That way you don't get caught up in the trap of just running more miles in the same shoes because you haven't really noticed anything different. The decline in performance, the decline in protection is gonna be pretty slowly, oftentimes too slowly for you to notice. So set a mileage limit on your shoes and replace them then. You know, rather than waiting for them to just be visibly worn out. Another way to tell if your shoes are getting worn out is that you might be feeling a little more aches and pains. Or the aches and pains that we normally get after running, you know, if you go on a nice long run or you do a speed workout, it's natural to just be a little worn out. You might feel a few aches and pains just from that solid workout, but if those aches and pains are lasting more than a day or two, maybe time to change your shoes. And ultimately it comes down to midsole is being compressed with every step that you take. And over time, that midsole just compresses and it doesn't rebound. If it compresses more, you're not getting the same protection. And that's when you may start to notice those aches and pains creeping in, lasting a bit longer than they normally do. I don't know who needs to hear this. I'm sure many of you are gonna like to hear this, but I'm gonna give you five reasons why you need several pairs of running shoes. And of course, all of these tie in with what we've already talked about today. But the first one is the reduced risk of injury. And I already led into it by saying that you're gonna get more aches and pains when your shoes are worn down. So by having several shoes in your rotation, you're gonna be giving your other shoes time to rebound. You're gonna run in them, compress that midsole, then you're gonna let them sit for a day, maybe two, maybe three. That midsole is going to just expand beautifully like I don't know, a marshmallow. And then when you go to grab it again, you're gonna be feeling good. You're gonna just love those running shoes. They're very much like us. If we run and run and run without giving ourselves time to recover, we're gonna wear ourselves out and that leads to injury. Therefore, more shoes equals less injury. And you can tell your significant other I said so. The next reason to have multiple pairs of running shoes is because we need to have different shoes for different speeds. I know that when I go out for a nice easy run, I'm tending to grab these Nike Pegasus 38s, but even though I can pick up the pace in these shoes just fine, when I wanna do a speed workout, I'm generally gonna grab my Deviate Nitros. And that's just because these are a little more responsive. They make me feel better running fast. Now they're certainly not as plush and comfortable as these Nike Pegasus 38s, but they're for a different job. Different runs require different shoes. Now, it's race day. What am I gonna choose? Well, right now, I would reach for my Nike Next Percent 2s. Probably the best option I have for race day right now. But there is no way I would choose these shoes to go out and run a couple easy miles. Different running shoes excel at what they were made for. Now, would be a great time if you like running shoes if you're getting any entertainment value from this video to smash the like button it's just a perfect way to support the channel lets youtube know you know what i might need to send this video out to a few more people I think a few more people could get some value from this okay one thing i am not advocating is that everybody needs several pairs of running shoes i don't think that at all i think if you're just running a couple times a week for a couple miles i think you can really make do with just one pair of running shoes in that case it's just not worth it from a shoe perspective to buy several pairs of shoes to rotate them in and out we already talked about it briefly but the next reason to have multiple pairs of running shoes is so you can use the right shoes for the right terrain trail shoes for days on the trail road shoes for days on the road. It really is that simple. Different tools in the toolbox for different jobs. You're not gonna use a hammer to turn a screw. Hey, just so you know, I buy all my shoes from Jack Rabbit and all my shoes, all the shoes that I've shown you, all the shoes that I've used recently and that are in my rotation currently are all listed below using my affiliate links. I welcome you to go check it out. Remember, you don't pay any more by using my affiliate links. It just pays me a little commission, which helps support the channel. The next reason to have multiple pairs of running shoes, the shoes last longer. It is more economical to have more than one pair of shoes. But also, I'm gonna take this one step further. I want you to keep your running shoes for running. You'll use them only for running. I don't want you going out for a walk in your running shoes. The shoes that you use for walking and going out on the town, those are your running shoes that are no longer good for running. You rotate them out of your running rotation and into your life rotation. It actually works out pretty well for that. If you're spending all this money on running shoes, why do you want to put unnecessary wear and tear? And I'm telling you that walking around will wear them down. You're going to be wearing down the outsole, probably because of more ground contact time when you're walking and the midsole. You are compressing the midsole even when you're walking around. Running shoes are for running. Walking shoes for walking. Don't let those worlds collide. And the fifth reason to have multiple pairs of running shoes 
choose is because more choices equals more fun. There isn't really much room for me to put these all on the screen. And when it comes down to it, if we're not having fun with our running, what's the point? My friends, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. You guys are great. I post new running videos at least twice a week. Be kind, be happy, and run well. See you in a couple of days.